Hello and welcome to the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast with me, Kumbi Ayo Okonawo. My mission is to encourage and inspire you and I'll be doing this through the Word of God from the Christian Bible and through life experiences to cheer you on, motivate you and support you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello, it's me Kumbi with another episode of the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast. My mission on this show is to empower you with words of encouragement or inspiration or prayer that will make an impact in your day-to-day life. So in last week's episode, I touched on the difficult week my family and I had Um, Little did I know that two days after recording the episode, my grandma, who means the absolute world to me, would die peacefully in her sleep. Um, My amazing grandma died on the morning of Saturday, 6th of February. Um, She slept and from there she went to meet her maker, exactly how she always said she wanted to go. Um, it's been tough dealing with, with the grief of her death. Um, but I, I rejoice in the fact that she lived a long, lovely life and she was, she was ready to go. (laughs) She was ready to go. Um, and so I, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm grateful for her life. Um, even though it's tough even though I will miss her terribly. Um, I already miss her terribly because we we used to speak nearly every week. Um, she, she, she was the most loving, caring, kind and compassionate woman that I ever met. And not, not just because she, she, she was my grandmom. Um, anyone who encountered my grandmom, um, would say the same same thing even if you only met her once you 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 would experience love and compassion um she had a passion for doing good it was just something that she just did without thinking about it um it just it 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 was her that that that's essentially how I can put it, um, and she loved with all of her heart. She loved with all of her heart, um, and her passion and and compassion for people is the inspiration for this episode, um, because so many people wonder, um how they can make a difference in the world that we live in um like more often than not people think they have to do this massive thing to make a difference in this world um and oftentimes um this hymn written by Ina Ogden always comes to mind um for me when I think when I think about um how to make an impact in the world or how to make a difference in the world and the one of the verses I think the first verse says do not wait until some deed of greatness you may do do not wait to shed your light afar to the many duties ever near you now be true brighten the corner where you are um the chorus says bright in the corner where you are someone far from harbor you may guide across the bar bright in the corner where you are um particularly now with um covid and the world just in in a bit of a disarray Many of us are looking for ways to to make a difference and we often wonder what we can do 
and how we can go about making this difference. Um, in this very interesting times that we are in, a just checking up on your friends is a way to make a difference. A phone call, um, a text even, even a direct message on social media would make a difference in someone's life. Um, praying for your friends, sometimes asking them if there's, if there's something that you can pray for them on. And you will often find that you checking up on them, especially in this time time that we're living in, you checking up on them might be exactly what they need at that point in time that you checked on them. Just to say, oh, I just thought about you. I'm just checking on you to see how you're doing, how you're coping. Um, I read um, somewhere on social media about a lady who... Um, just decided to to bake for to, to make some food pardon me for her neighbor and she 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 went and dropped it off and this neighbor just broke down into tears because she had just been rifling through her cupboards just trying to find something that her and her children would eat and she was just thinking oh my goodness how are we going to eat and just like that food came and so we don't necessarily need to do something that maybe we think is just huge that would you know reverberate across the world just checking on someone or making a meal for someone is something that can reverberate in that person's life at that specific time. And that in itself is more than enough, much more that you could ever imagine. And so like that hymn said, brighten the corner where you are. And in this COVID times, this is what we can do. Checking up on each other and seeing how we're all doing. How are you coping mentally? How are you doing with homeschooling? Um, how are you coping with work and homeschooling? Um, so many people are out of work and just checking up on them and seeing how they're doing. Um, offering to maybe make them a meal or, or remembering them when we do our shopping and, and dropping something off for them. Those kinds of things make a huge, huge difference. Um, to many of us, it might seem like, you know, something tiny. But to those people that we reach out a hand of love to, it's massive. It's huge. My grandmom was so amazing when it came to that sort of thing. Um, I remember when we, when we were growing up, because she she lived with us she lived with us from when when i was born um and so when i was 11 i think we moved to a new area and it was a developing area so uh, there was a lot of land around the place and we used to have these nomads um that would find a piece of land um build sort of like a wooden house or something um and live there until maybe the owner of the land um would come and and chase them away so we had such nomads near nearby and my grandma made friends with them did they, they didn't speak the same language my grandma didn't speak english they didn't really speak a word of English it was the different languages but she somehow made friends with them and when she cooked um for us for 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 the family she would cook extra food for them and she would ask us to go and to go and give them some food every time she 
bought something, she gave them out of what she bought. Every time she made food, she sent them food. And that's how she was. That's how she was. She she loved people and she just loved caring for people. And that's how she made her own impact. Um, and it was just such a beautiful thing to watch and to just see her be like that, to see her be so caring. Um, she was the sort of person that once she knew you, that's it. You, you're part of her family. If she doesn't see you for a long time, she's worrying about you. She's thinking, what's going on? Um, I mean, friends, friends of mine that I, I introduced to her in the past, she would ask after them. Um, and when I moved away from home, all she had to do was just hear about one friend. And that's it. Doesn't know what they look like. <laughs> um, but she starts asking after them. Oh, how's your friend? She's fine, grandma. How's that your other friend? He's fine, grandma. <laughs> I hope you're still friends. She had to this thing about people not um, quarreling. So she would ask it. Hope you're still friends. Hope you're not quarreling. She would tell you to smile. Smile. Always keep a smile on your face. Um, don't quarrel with people. Be at peace with people. And if you quarrel with people, make up with them. And just be at peace with people. Be at peace with people. And that's an amazing legacy um, that I pray that um, I will carry on and I, that I will always, always remember. And so I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to brighten the corner where you are. Don't think that that little gesture um, that you that you make towards someone is um is little or too little or too small or too tiny trust me it makes a huge 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 difference and when all of this covid craziness is over when lockdown is over when things get back to to as normal as they can get continue to brighten the corner a smile here to someone a compliment there, um, helping someone struggling with, you know, with their luggage or with their groceries, giving a helping hand to a neighbor, um, volunteering in your local community center, working with youth in your community, just being there for people, um, checking on someone and asking them, how are you? I mean, really, how are you? Um, all of these things make a huge, huge difference and they can create a domino effect that can be far, far reaching than we can ever realize. Um, so if you're wondering what you can do to make a difference in our world, um, yeah, consider Breton in the corner where you are. Yeah, Breton in the corner where you are. I hope you have been blessed by this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I will catch you in the next episode. God bless. Bye. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Be Encouraged, Be Inspired. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so you don't miss the next episode. God bless.